Freeze London and Freeze Masters Fairs are key events in the art market calendar. Private collectors and museum curators from around the world are in London this week, and a lot of art is bought and sold here. But Freeze want their fairs to feel like cultural happenings and not just trade shows. That's why there are restaurants, talks programmes and film screenings. And here at Freeze London, there are the Freeze projects too. These are commissioned works, they're not for sale, and they're dotted around the fair like little interventions in the marketplace. The artist Julie Verhoeven's performance takes place in the Ladies' Loos. It's supposed to make us think about the invisibility of workers at a place like Freeze. Wonderland Avenue is another of the Freeze projects. It's by the writer Sibylle Berg and the artist Klaus Richter, and the performance imagines a near future in which machines are in control. Please wake up and you take a in this extraordinary facility in the enchanting Wonderland Avenue. This is Samson Young's multimedia sound walk. It's supposed to create a parallel fictional world within the fair. Let's see what happens. Watching over the fair is a piece by the young artist Yuri Patterson, who has won this year's Freeze Artist Award. He has created a network collecting data from around the fair, which is displayed on these screens. Yuri Patterson's piece is all based on trending data and meta communication. He installed a couple of cameras on the tent, around the tent, filming the park. Um, and on the other hand, he has microphones that doesn't record, but it transmits pieces and bits of what people talk about to a computer, and this computer translates it and shows it on the screen. So you can read it as a critique on this whole trending data. So for me, the central motive for this year's program was really the human and how do we relate to each other, what kind of relationships do we foster, what is empathy today, or what it's not, or is it lacking. This project is a performative space in that sense. That a lot of the projects have a performative aspect, so people are involved, the audience is more involved than just looking at something. I think also for a collector it's extremely important to see uh, yeah, something else as well and uh, not just have this kind of fixed sculptures or paintings but also to see more of these social sculptures. Freeze projects tackle big contemporary issues in engaging ways. They're designed to punctuate the rows of gallery booths here without ever disrupting the business of selling. This is an art fair after all.